Welcome back to a brand new coffee tech update with Jan. So in my previous session, uh, I walked you through all the brand new features uh, in uh, version 3.3 for the Studio X30, X50 and the G7500. Uh, now, in today's video, I want to walk you hands on to all the different features and uh, show you permanent device mode and the new Wi-Fi feature and all sort of other features which are in there. And I will give you some tips and tricks uh, how to use it and how the experience actually looks like uh, for, the, uh, for the end user. Now, let me get started with uh, the web interface uh, to show you some of those uh, features. Take a coffee and I will walk you through those exciting features in the 3.3 version. Now, first of all, uh, you sign into your uh, X30 or X50 uh, or the G7500. I'm connected here now to my, uh, my X30. So the first thing is, is upgrade your device uh, to the 3.3 version, which is a uh, general available. Now, if you can't update it uh, through the internet, uh, you can always download the software. If you go to support.polycom.com, uh, download that uh, package. Unpack it on the root of a USB stick and, and leave the whole folder format etc in there. Then you can just put the stick into the X30, X50 or G7500 and you can also do a local upgrade. And I can imagine when you are an engineer or something you go on site and maybe you don't know if you even can connect to the internet then it's always handy to take that latest version with you. And you can always uh, uh, update, it, uh, update it manually. Now, that's the first thing. Update your device uh, to 3.3. Uh, to now, what is available in 3.3? Now, let me show you. So, first off, uh, we had Poly, Zoom, Teams, etc. We had that as a provider option. Uh. Now, a brand new option, and this is something what really was coming from our customer set is the device mode. So device mode is already there today. Eh? So you can use it in Zoom, you can use it from the Starleaf app, you can use it from the Poly app eh? and you just click device mode eh? and you can use your laptop and eh? just plug in a USB cable in your laptop and reuse camera, speaker, mic on the laptop eh? with, your, with your client. But the thing is after 40, 50 seconds this will go out of the device mode. Now, where we got a lot of requests from is, are we able to put it permanently into this device mode? For now, and maybe for now at least, because in today's world, it seems eh, that customers have a lot of mixed calls, WebEx, Zoom, Teams, eh, and it's switching a lot. So it makes sense for, uh, eh, for those customers to permanently use it in device mode. And in the future, and this is, I think, really powerful. You can just move it to Teams or move it to Zoom or any uh, uh, platform you're moving forward with. And then you can permanently put it into device mode. And I will do that uh, in a bit later. Uh, but now I want to show you also some of the other uh, great new features. What is also new in the 3.3 is now you can change the LED bar lighting and the, the brightness. So we had some customers uh, where uh, the light red or green uh, was maybe a bit uh, too brightness in some rooms. Uh, so here they can adjust it now to their own brightness. Uh, it's a customization option which is available now. Also, you can disable device mode. So let's say you want to use it uh, in the zoom mode, but you don't want to be able to break out uh, to, uh, to other providers via the laptop, here you can also disable it. So as you can see, enable device mode, enabled by default, uh, but uh, you can enable it, uh, disable it also now. The other option which became available in the 3.3 is the Poly Content app. Uh, so by default, this app was enabled. So here you see the Polycom Content app. There was a little program for Windows or for Mac. So now you're able to turn this off to make sure that people who sit in other rooms, 
they're not able to share something to the X30 and X50. And will probably uh, uh, for security reasons also. Now, and then you can save it. And now this is turned off. Another feature which became available in Zoom is the Wi-Fi support. So this was already, uh, as you see here also, this was already available in the poly modus. Uh, and this is now also available in the Zoom modus. The first phase now is the 2.4 GHz uh, and we expect uh, a, phase, uh, a phase 2 also where you have the 5 GHz. But at least it is to get started. So especially for home office uh, or for trolleys uh, with uh, with uh, screens on it and x30 x50 on it which uh, yeah when used in different rooms it makes sense to have it available on wi-fi so you only need to connect uh, the power and the system boots up and it's ready to use further what we have uh, if you look at the diagnostics we have for example remote monitoring so remote monitoring means uh, that you can now use this device and monitor specific calls. So that makes also uh, sense. Uh, it is one frame per second, but at least uh, gives you a snapshot of the room. And if you're connected to a far end, it can also do remote camera control, etc. Uh, so you can wake up the system here. You can also have some uh, controls here below. You have some uh, pre uh, presets here below. Uh, so you can also uh, use the presets. So it is for, I can imagine a white glove surface or anything in there. I can imagine that this is very, very handy. If you want to put uh, this system permanently in the device mode, you go to the provider. You go to the device mode, we say save, and let's go. As the X30 will reboot in permanent device mode, let me talk you through the G7500, because this is running exact the same software. So you can put this guy also in the permanent device mode. And all of a sudden, all that I.O. Uh, so there's a lot of I.O. in there. You've got 3.5 mm ports, you've got a lot of USB ports, you've got HDCI uh, for cameras, you've got here the HDMI input port, which you can use for content or using a camera, you've got here screens, and also here you've got table mics, you can hook up ceiling mics. So all of a sudden you really have the ultimate black box which is able uh, to convert all your peripherals to USB. And so that powerful Eagle Eye 4 camera, 12 times optical zoom, uh, which is also uh, part of the uh, Director 2, is suddenly in your hands using that USB cable. Uh, because this guy uh, is connected through HDMI to HDCI to the G7500. And the G7500 has that USB output to the laptop and so you can create all sort of use cases and you just connect it to the laptop and you can run uh, Teams or Zoom or anything like that. And as you can see now the X30 is running now in the permanent device mode. And the permanent device mode is nothing different than uh, at the device mode we already know uh, inside the X3050 and G7500. But that is more uh, when you use it in a sort of hybrid mode. Uh, but it's exactly the same, uh, the same device mode. So you just connect it to your laptop. And as you can see here, only the exit button is removed. Uh, so you don't see an exit button here on the, on the right side. Uh, here you normally see when you have a touch screen you have an exit button so it can go back into that specific uh, zoom app uh, or the poly app. So on the left side you got your volume control but still if you got a touch screen uh, you can uh, control that. Now how does this look like on the TC8? Uh, the touch panel at the table. So as soon as you put the X3050 or the G7500 in that permanent device mode and how does this look like on the TC8? So as you can see, it's exact sort of same interface eh, as you have on the main screen. 
So you can hear mute and unmute, and you got your volume control, it's also similar. Uh, but also, what a lot of people don't know is you can swipe you on the right side, and you get this additional menu where you can control the camera. And so here you got the uh, presets, you can manually pen tilt zoom, can turn tracking on and off. If you got multiple cameras connected, you can easily uh, select them right there. And uh, so you can imagine with the G7500, it's really uh, that ultimate USB black box because everything you connect to it all becomes available on this USB port, uh, which you can connect into the room onto that uh, Windows PC, laptop and everything you have there. And you can do all the control from this side. So I think that's very, very powerful. Now, but how does this look like on the laptop side? Uh, so as soon as you are in this device mode, you connect it to your laptop, for example, to Teams or to Zoom. And uh, how do you configure that? As a user, you walk into your room with your own laptop uh, and you're using it with a Teams app or with a Zoom app or WebEx app, uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, and where do you select uh, those different devices? Now, for example, in Teams. Uh, so what I usually do is I go here to settings, you go to devices, uh, and I haven't connected the USB cable yet. Uh, if you see also here on screen, it asks it uh, uh, to connect that USB port. And if you want to uh, share a screen, also connect it HDMI port. Now, what I will do is let me connect now the USB cable to the laptop. And what will happen is also the system here will show you uh, when everything is ready to use. Uh, so as it's mentioning it now, and also the HDMI cable, uh, so that is still available to, uh, to share your screen. Now, automatically in the Teams app, uh, if you go now in the drop down menu, you got here the Poly Studio X30 Audio. So it is detected using that USB cable. So as you can see, it now automatically selects that as speaker and automatically selected as microphone. So we're really using now speaker and mic uh, in, that, uh, in that device. And also we need to select the camera. And so that also comes through that single USB port. And here you go. So here you see a preview video. Uh, so you can check if the video is uh, available. Uh, and also, what I will show you, if I now, for example, select a preset, you can see the camera will move uh, into a different spot, as you see right here. So you can really work through that presets uh, and uh, move the camera to different positions. And now I'm doing that with the X30, uh, but of course you can do that with the X50. Can connect multiple cameras, of course, also to that uh, X50 uh, and similar to the G7500. So, in case yeah, you got that all connected, then the app is ready to use uh, and you can start your video calls. Now, lastly, let me also show you this in Zoom and uh, similar. So, you go here to Zoom, you go to Settings, you go to Video. And now, if you got that USB connected there, uh, you can select here, as you can see, the X30 video, uh, which is available. Similar for audio, uh, so you can go here, go to the system, select X30 audio, uh, similar here for the mic, select also that audio X30, and here you go. And you're ready to go. We got everything ready and you can start your video calls also from the Zoom site. Now that was to give you a sort of end user experience when using X30, X50 uh, and G7500 in that permanent device mode. Uh, how does this look like in Teams and Zoom and uh, how do you select the peripherals and usually when you walk into those rooms again, usually those peripherals are automatically selected. Now, as a sort of tips and tricks, uh, so this information screen is always there. I think that is important. Uh, so this information screen will give you the information if the camera, speaker, mic are connected, if your HDMI is connected, 
etc. In case you don't want this information screen, uh, which is always on, you can also connect the HDMI uh, to share screen also directly to the screen. And uh, so then don't go through the X30, uh, but connect the HDMI cable on the table directly to the screen. That is also an option, of course. Now, as an alternative uh, for the cabling, so if you want to bundle cables, you can also combine cables together behind the X30, X50 and uh, the G7500. Combine them using a USB-C hub. Uh, so here you combine the A, the HDMI, the USB-C, etc. So you can bind all sorts of cables and bring that to a single USB-C cable to the table. But again, uh, I recommend to get in contact with your local AV integrator and, and to test that sort of scenarios as it's not officially uh, something supported from the poly side as there's so much uh, uh, different USB-C hubs out there. Now this was the Coffee Tech Break session for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'm already looking forward to the next one.